I'm going to speak just for myself on this, but a lot of times uh, we kind of get in like a, a, a seven day church type routine in our mind to where you're waiting for some kind of great revelation to occur and then carry that revelation or that understanding of your greatness or your motivation or that wisdom or that, you know, I should love my wife more. I should love my child more. Uh, you know, you're waiting for that great big revelation and then you want to carry that into perpetuity. You want to like carry that forever. You want to, you know, have read that one quote and that be your life quote for forever. I got a question for you because I used to do that all the time and I would almost get mad at myself when I would feel like that lesson was fading away. You know what I mean? You hear something the preacher says on Sunday or you hear something great somebody says at work and you're just like, oh, I'm just going to hang on to this. What else in life ever works that way? Nothing. Like, nothing in life works that way. You never wash the dishes and that washes the dishes for forever. You don't wash your car or wash your body and it's forever clean. It will never get dirty again. And a lot of times that fear, like, oh man, I got it all done. You don't even want, you don't even want dirty a dish. You're sitting there eating on paper plates because you don't want to wash them dishes again. That's a whole combination of bad stuff. That's lazy. That You're not wanting to put forth the effort for that cycle to come back around and you have to put forth the effort to clean yourself up again. To go back to the gym. You, oh yeah, I got a great workout today. Well, that workout's not going to last you into next month. You got to go back and do it again. Understand the process is just as much a part of the growth. It's got to rain in order for the flowers to grow. That's a part of it. And it's got to rain over and over and over again. If you're in a drought and it rains one time, that is not enough to grow fruit for the whole season. It's not enough. It's got to happen again and again and again and again. So all I'm saying is something that just came to me. So I'm I'm just trying to spread the blessing as God has revealed it to my mind and to my heart. Is that I got to be excited about that pain. It's just like when you go to stretch and you hit that breaking point. Ah, where it starts to hurt. You breathe in, relax, and you just go a little bit more until it starts to hurt. Breathe in, relax, go a little bit more until it starts to hurt. You can't back up when it starts to hurt. You got to push forward when it starts to hurt because that's telling you you're growing. You got a new breaking point. That little bit further is that new breaking point. And that's that's it. We're going to keep it simple. We're going to keep it under five minutes. Don't try to carry yesterday's lessons in today. Today has its own lessons. And don't worry about today's lessons going into tomorrow. Tomorrow, you'll have plenty of opportunity. The moment you wake up, you should be already in gear, thanking God, because you had another opportunity to grow. You'll never see a tree just stop growing. Ah, I'm done growing for the rest of my life. It don't work that way. Growth is permanent. You always grow. Even if you're 90 years old, you're growing. All right? Grow strong. Be blessed. Peace.